using me as I water my plant. So I don't know why, but I forgot to say my catchphrase. So here it is. Hi, my name is New, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're not so new to this channel, welcome back. Okay, now let's go on to the video. Oh, if I look like a wet dog, I, I tried to fix my hair up to look remotely similar because I don't have a wig for this and also I'm not chopping my hair off for a YouTube video even though I did that already so today as you can see from the title we are doing Brazil oh my god I messed up my hair again but it's okay her hair is messy anyway but yeah so we're doing Greece Brazil because if you didn't know um, my whole childhood I would watch a whole bunch of Patrick the Swazer movies or um, John Travolta movies. My whole childhood. Dirty Dancing, Saturday Night Fever, Grease, Dirty Dancing. Did I say that already? Anyways, so because we watch all these movies, in my head it would always be stuck these few movies. So because of that we're doing this. Now, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because I kept on seeing uh, great actresses, just their best moments, or best moments characters with movies that were are fairly old. Um, early 19, what? 1980s, 90, 1990 movies, like around those areas of time. Yes, I probably was too young for the time, or non-existent when this movie came out, but guess what? My family didn't care. They showed me this movie anyways. Also, I'm wearing this because it's the only shirt that I have a collar, that has a collar like this on. I'm definitely going to, um, fix this. Ooh. Listen, she's my spirit animal. We, we get this. Now, not only am I going to do this, I'm going to be doing this with... Dun, 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 dun the cremated collection because I am cremated because of how good this movie <laughs> now I didn't rewatch it I was planning to rewatch it with you guys but I'm like that's gonna take forever also my camera only has like six minutes of like footage I don't know why but um well I installed a few apps and now I have so much more space. But yeah, so I'm taking this foundation because it feels like it's a BB cream. It's a BB cream and back then I feel like they didn't use like foundations like this. Also, why am I doing my face first? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm trying to use very little product. Also, I moved my my hair a bit so I can do much more than what I'm supposed to be doing. But I have so much acne all over the place so help the Lord. Group chat was like spamming like crazy girl. I already had foundation and eyeshadow done but I can always fix that the eyeshadow especially because I'm gonna redo it be redoing it anyways. But my eyebrows were good. I know the eyebrows are a lot thinner back then, but um, does it look like we're doing the uh, actual recreation, the complete transformation girl now? Because, sorry, but I am tanner than her. Also, I am not cutting my hair or wearing a wig like that. So, uh, already we fell in a few steps, but I'm her a very light layer of this also brought a lot of things of Jeffree Star so we're probably going to see a whole bunch of those things as we go along with this video we're definitely doing something that is super close to what would have been worn I mean especially camera like to movies, this is probably not going to be super accurate to the time period because I didn't do a whole bunch of research. If you want me to do something that's more similar to the time period, please tell me. But, um, yeah, this is 
definitely how I feel. But talking about this character specifically, um, I don't know, I've always liked characters like these where they seem very independent and that they don't like abide by the rules, specifically because I'm a Leo and I don't abide by the rules. Being serious here. But, you know, like, they feel very empowering in certain ways. Like, to me, she's that bad girl that doesn't like Sandy. She feels like she's too crappy, which I think she is too, but, you know, it's like, just my opinion. And, like, um, it's not very, it's not ignorant to the fact that a lot of, like, what people talk about her, you know, and she's hurt by it, but... At the end of the day, like, she doesn't, like, she does what she wishes to do just because she's has an active sex life for her doesn't mean that she's hopeless. You know what I mean? But a lot of people say that about her already. And, like, when she had that false alarm, she was like, everyone's like, oh my gosh, she got pregnant on her prayer. Like, she didn't know who it was, blah, 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 blah. You know, like, like, we call her so many things just because, well, obviously, they're, I forget if they're high school students, but they're definitely not college students, but that's probably it, like, they're, they're high school students, I think, and that's the main reason why people say a lot, a lot of mean things about her, because she's like, oh, she's, like, pregnant, and she's this young or whatever, and, like, a lot of the times, a lot of those things, especially in that time period. Um, if you weren't married, I feel, I think I'm correct, I don't know. Don't. But, back in the day, a lot of times, if you weren't married and you were pregnant, then you would basically be like a laughing stock, or a lot of people would just like, you know, towards you because you're not supposed, you're supposed to get married, you're not supposed to have a sex marriage or whatever, you know what I mean? So, like, you're supposed to be here to one man, you get met from, you know, marriage, and when you get pregnant out of marriage, you have to be sent off somewhere. Um, but I think this was probably years, way before, um, Greece. But it continues like with like as the years pass and progress like if you're pregnant out of marriage or at a young age it's definitely definitely young age like already that is a no-no but I'm not trying to say like slut or anything because of that. I'm just saying that it shouldn't be something you do like get pregnant especially at such a young age because you're still a child but at this time just getting pregnant out of marriage or whatever and like what's going on it's been an amazing impression isn't it like i'm too lazy to go out and get beauty under but this is pretty good for skin but especially at this time like she's young and she's getting pregnant so she already like was a bad bitch or whatever so a lot of people are already like you know, either you're preppy, you innocent, or you're just, you know, like, in a gang or whatever, like, it's never, um, like, in between, like, if you're in between, like, either you're this type of popular or you're this type of popular, you know, so, I don't know, I feel like it's pretty realistic, it's not super realistic because obviously this is um, Hollywood at its highest but it does touch on a lot of um uh, problems that still kind of go on today how the world views you and how people are like oh like cancel this person for certain things but you don't see that these people do have feelings you know and are human and we get to see that side of Rizzo oh I love her 
right, well, yes, there's a lot of sexual stuff going on, but not really during that time. It is so delicious. I don't even know if you're supposed to eat this. Is this apple? It's edible. Oh. <laughs> I like how I eat it before I read the packaging. But yeah. That time period. She had a lot of like a grayish eyeshadow, so I should try that out. Like a grayish and then like black. Yes, I'm going over the shadow I already had on. Because I did this like really cute like frosty look. I took photos of it, so I wanna see that. I'll definitely put it somewhere for you to see. Oh I messed up. I'm using the morgue instead of four. This is probably the only stuff that I'm going to show because it's the color that I messed up with because she has more of a brown in here instead of that gray. I'm using arbitrary on here to kind of help it blend in. Then I'm going to get a lighter color. Cast get ready. Kind of blend out a bit. Now I'm going to add hers. Does she have anything like she had some gray under her eyes, but I'm gonna do this eye off camera and then we'll come back because I needed to powder my face too. So um I finished my face makeup. My hair is a mess. I'm gonna have to fix that again. I look ghastly, I know I don't know what happened. Um but I did my face aka my um powder. And then I finished my eyes, which I just put on a little bit of eyeliner to tight line, some lashes, just some natural lashes that elongate the outer sides of my eyeballs, and then my bottom lashes and eyeshadow. So now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and put on some bronzer. I've already also sprayed my face. I don't know where the rest of my spray is. It's probably back where I put it. But I'm just gonna make my face look a little rounder because she does have a pretty rounded face and back then they didn't really contour as much. I'm trying to do a modernized but not really a modernized, just more like inspired look of it. So I'm gonna add a little bit here so I won't look too young. <laughs> even though they're high schoolers. And now a bit of here. Um, on my forehead, even though we're not gonna see that. I already did my eyebrows, like I already said it, like this morning. Not even this morning. Well, yeah, this morning. Um, when I went to class, so we don't have to worry about that. I took a break because people came. As usual in my videos, I'm never alone. But I'm going to use this. I know I've been using a lot of ColourPop blushes, but that's mainly the most that I have. And also I want a bit more of an orangey, like, brick tone. Because she doesn't have, like, extremely rosy cheeks. Or at least I don't think she does. So, also, it will fit more if I have this because of my skin tone. But she does have more of a, like, a rouge color. Back then, they love the color rouge. I know, because my mom 
used to use rouge a lot. So we're going to try and rouge up the cheek area. And yes, I'm not using completely on Jeffree Star stuff because he didn't have blush in his thing. And um, he doesn't have colorful blush on his palette either. Um, if I try... They really think it's 4th of July. Okay, ma'am. Stop. But yeah, so for this look, it's specifically good if I use rouge. And like, go heavy on it too. Don't... Don't put a little bit. No, girl. Heavy it up. Also, on the nose. I just add it on the nose because I like on the nose. <laughs> but you can do whatever you want. That's basically... It looks less ghastly now. They didn't use highlight, but I kind of want to do highlight. I'm going to use um, Diamond Ashes, just because it's such a pretty color. And it looks so, like, frosty on my skin, which is kind of a cute look. I'm going to add a little bit here. I'm going to frost it up. Oh my god, that fits my skin tone, which is surprising because these type of um, colors for highlight is usually not good for my skin tone, but it's very glittery. It's every day and every single freaking night that they're doing freaking fireworks. I'm going to use Diamond Ashes. My nose too, even though I didn't do all that, but you know. Queen. Oh my god, it actually looks kind of cute. I don't tend to do that, but since we're going to put Heaven's Gate, might as well. I brought all the lip glosses, so I'm just going to use this one. She doesn't use like this type of gloss, obviously, but she does have kind of like a gloss. Or her lipstick is just like shiny lipstick, it's not matte lipstick. But it's definitely pretty on the lips. It's not super glittery unless it dries out it starts getting glittery. I know because I tried this this morning. <laughs> As you can see with the eyeshadow that I started off with. So this is the outro. You didn't know about it, now you know about it. If you enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed making this and talking about it a little bit in the beginning. I know I kind of drift off at the end of this video, but it's okay. It's okay. I took a break because people came, like I said, and I kind of like my brain kind of flew somewhere else. But we're finally done with this video and I don't know how to feel about it. Anyways, I really like making this video. I really wanted to do this video for a long time. I've been waiting for this whole collection to be in my hands to actually finally put this video out. And yes, this is a Wednesday's video, but um, we're switching it for this week, okay? I, I, if you didn't catch that, okay. But yeah, so Wednesday's videos are usually random things, but I kind of wanted to put this video out because this palette just came to me in the mail today, so I decided to do it today and post it tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Um, so you're watching it on Wednesday, but I'm recording on Tuesday. <laughs> but um, on Saturday's video, I'll probably do something more random related. I'll see what I want to do. Um, or it could be makeup related. Two makeup videos in one week? I mean, why not? But yeah, so I might switch it up this week and switch the dates. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one if you're joining the fam. Which is not really a fam, it's, it's just a community of people who gather to watch me fail as a YouTuber. I mean, anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time. Ciao!